Richard Southern is back with us. We're chatting about some of the more interesting stories of the day and Richard new technology is giving us a clearer look at a story we're all familiar with. The Titanic, Erica, uh, most famous disaster. We're getting uh, the clearest view yet of the quickly disintegrating wreck at the bottom of the Atlantic, 2.4 miles down. We're looking at 8K video, which was shot, the highest resolution yet. Now, we're not broadcasting in 8K. You probably don't have an 8K set to fully appreciate this, but still, it is the highest level of detail you're ever going to see of the 110-year-old shipwreck. Uh, features of the ship, such as the name of the anchor maker, Noah Higley and Sons, is visible on the port side anchor. The footage also shows the first of Titanic two hulls, its huge anchor chain, each link weighing 200 pounds. The race to document the ship is on. It's decaying quickly. Microbes are eating away at the steel hull, Erica. The video we're looking at here was captured by Ocean Gate Expeditions, which allows you to actually go down and see the wreck for yourself in a submarine if you're willing to part with $250,000. Wow. Erica, if I was on the wreck, you know, a la, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and your Kate floating <laughs> on the, the piece of chair, would you give me space on that of to jump on I and save would. myself? Of course I would, Okay, Richard. good. Yeah, there was, there was plenty I of space. I totally do that for you, that. too. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, Brazilian it looked Man. like there was in the movie, too. Sorry? You know, and then she still let him die. Oh, Anyways, it looked like there was lots of space in the like movie. She was. still let him yeah, die. That big, still bothers me. It, yes, it bothers a lot of fans too. Okay, a Brazilian man <laughs> is lucky to be alive after surviving quite the ordeal um, off the open waters. Uh, speaking of which, yes, Brazilian man went out fishing and his boat sank. This is in early August in the Atlantic Ocean, took refuge inside a freezer that fell off his boat. And so he floated around in this freezer for 11 days. Uh, he said at one point sharks started circling him. Mm -hmm. The freezer itself started filling with water. He bailed it out with his hands. Luckily, fishermen happened, happened upon him 11 days later and saved his life. And he said, quote, the freezer was the god in my life. He didn't have any food or water, Eric. I don't know how he did it. You know, when I get a hotel room and there's no a mini bar, I freak out. I couldn't survive 11 days in the Atlantic, could you? Can you, you imagine the survival instinct there, just the, the sheer will to, to get through it, and wow, that's amazing. Okay, it's the yeah. dinner hour, so we just had to wrap up with this story about one of Canada's favorite <laughs> meals. Craft dinner. Did you buy craft dinner, Erica? I haven't had craft dinner in years. Now, now I want some craft dinner, though, our, now that we're talking about it. Our camera operator, Sheldon, was saying the same thing. Used to buy a lot of craft dinner, not so much anymore. I guess it's kind of a favorite of, uh, you know, college students because it's kind of cheap. But anyways, Canadians of all sorts still love the macaroni and cheese in a box. Canadians, we found out today, eat 55% more craft dinner than Americans. Canadians purchase 1.7 million of the 7 million boxes sold each week. Average household. Uh, buys 3.1 boxes a month, spending $7.26 on it. The top craft dinner eating province is not Ontario, but Prince Edward Island. 25.3% of Canadians have never purchased craft dinner. They rolled it out in 1937 as kind of like a depression era food. But I guess, Erica, the big debate is uh, ketchup or no ketchup in this. Where do you stand no on that? No ketchup. No ketchup. What about you? You're a craft dinner purist. I think I agree with you, but I'm okay with some hot dog in it, quite frankly. There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to have some craft dinner. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Erica. Thanks.